This video will talk about a tutorial for using Excel to create a time series graph. What is a time series graph? It is a graph that displays the data collected in a time sequence from any process. So these are the steps that we can use to make a time series graph using Excel. We enter the time in one column. We enter the time in one column. We enter the corresponding frequencies in the right column next to it. And we highlight the two columns. We select inserts. We choose the line for the chart type and we edit the title and the axis as needed. All right, so just one example. The New England Journal of Medicine predicted the number of needless death due to childhood obesity. The tables here it gives you the years, 2020, 2025, and so on, and the death here, 130, 550, and so on. We want to draw a time series graph for this data. Okay, so we put the year in one column, the death in one column, next to it. We highlight everything. We go to insert, we click on this one, the charts, right the charts and we go to all charts we select light charts and we select this one option we just click OK and you see that this is the time series graph right with the year 2020 2025 and so on we can right click we can add the data and we can see the number of the death with the corresponding years below here all right, so we can try that. I will show you that using um, Excel. So we type in the year and the number of the death and 2020, 2025, 2030, 2035. And then we type 130, 550, 1500, 3700. And I just simply highlight that including the label. I go to insert, I go to the charts, I go to all charts, I go to the um, line, and I just simply select this one and click OK. And here I have the value on the Y axis for the number of the death and then the years here. I can right click on the, the, the line, right click and add the data label and I can tell the year 2035 I have this number 2030 I have this number and so on so, and you can always label the depth here you can t label the title quick layout you can choose this option here so that you can insert the axis title X axis and so on you can even I choose the option to see the line. Two thousand thirty-five. It goes up to this point and so on. So there's a lot of things you can choose around here, and see which one that uh, is the best for you.